in this lecture i am going to present what is kinematically indeterminate structure and what is kinematic indeterminacy and how to determine the kinematic indeterminacy of a pin jointed plan frame then i would like to determine the kinematic indeterminacy of some problems which is based on pin jointed plan frame first coming to what is kinematically indeterminate structure when a structure is loaded the joints undergo displacements in the form of translation and rotations these joint displacements are treated as unknown quantities a skeletal structure is said to be kinematically indeterminate if the displacement components of its joints cannot be determined by compatibility equations alone in order to evaluate the displacement components or the joints of the structures it is necessary to consider the equations of static equilibrium in the case of kinematically indeterminate structure the number of unknown displacement components is greater than the number of compatibility equations then coming to what is kinematic indeterminacy the number of additional equations necessary for the determination of all the independent displacement components is known as degree of kinematic indeterminacy or it is also known as degree of freedom then coming to pin jointed frame there are two types of pin jointed frame one is pin jointed plane frame and pin jointed space frame pin jointed plane frame is also known as 2d truss or plane truss and pin jointed space frame is known as 3d truss or space truss so in the case of pin jointed plane frame at each joint there are two independent displacement components two linear movement takes place at each joints but in the case of pin jointed space frame at each joint there are three independent displacement components takes place that is three linear movement takes place at each joint that is in three orthogonal direction that is in x and y and z direction three displacement takes place in the case of space frame but in the case of pin jointed plane frame there are two linear movement takes place that is in x direction and y direction then what is degree of kinematic indeterminacy of a pin jointed plane frame how you have to find out the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of pin jointed plane frame so the degree of kinematic indeterminacy can be denoted by dk capital d and small k subscript so dk is equal to 2j minus c where j is the number of joints and e is the number of compatibility equations similarly the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of pin jointed space frame that is dk is equal to 3j minus c so why you are taking here 3j because at each joint of pin jointed space frame there are three independent displacement component that's why so you have to take 3j minus the number of compatibility equation but we know the number of equations of compatibility that is equal to the number of constraint imposed by the support conditions and is equal to the number of independent external reaction components so the number of compatibility equation is equal to the number of independent reaction components because each reaction component that uh, constant against the displacement that's why each independent external reaction component is you have to take as a 
uh, compatibility equation. So, the number of compatibility equation is equal to the number of independent external reaction component E is equal to small r. Then after putting the r in the place of E, the equation reduces to the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of pin jointed plane frame dk is equal to 2j minus r. Similarly, the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of pin jointed stress frame that is equal to dk is equal to 3j minus r, where r is the number of independent external reaction components. Then coming to some problems, how you have to determine the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of some pin jointed plane frame. Coming to the first problem, determine the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of the pin jointed plane frame. So, this is A, B, C, D, this is the truss and here the support A is hinge support and support C is roller support. So, here you have to find out the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of this truss, pin jointed plane frame or this is also called the 2D truss or plane truss. So, here the formula that is dk is equal to 2j minus r, the degree of kinematic indeterminacy is equal to 2j minus r. So, here you have to find out the number of joints and number of external reaction components. So, the number of joints are equal to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number of joints are equal to 5. Then the number of independent external reaction components that is equal to 3. Because at the hinge support there are 2 reaction components, at roller support there is 1 reaction component. Then the total number of reaction components are equal to 3. Then you can find out what is the degree of kinematic indeterminacy. dk is equal to 2j minus r that is equal to 2 into 5 minus 3. So, is equal to 7. The degree of kinematic indeterminacy is equal to 7. Then the direction of 9 independent displacement components delta 1 to delta 7 are indicated in the figure. So, these are the independent displacement components. So, at E there are two displacement takes place uh, that is in x direction and y direction, two mutually perpendicular direction delta 1, delta 2 and at D there are two displacement takes place delta 3, delta 4 and at uh, B there are two displacement takes place delta 6, delta 7 but uh, at C there is only one displacement takes place that is in horizontal direction that is in x direction because uh, in vertical direction uh, there is uh, no displacement takes place due to the external reaction components. So, this is the constant against the displacement in the vertical direction and at A there is no displacement because this is the hinge support. So, here there is a horizontal reaction and vertical reaction and both reaction is constant against the horizontal displacement and vertical displacement. So, here there is no displacement takes place at A. These are the seven independent displacement component takes place in this problem. These are the direction of the independent displacement components. Then coming to the second problem, determine the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of the pin jointed plane frame. This is the pin jointed plane frame and this is A, B, C, D, E, F. Here the support A is hinge and support D is roller support and here you have to find out the degree of kinematic indeterminacy. So, the degree of kinematic indeterminacy you can determine using the formula dk is equal to 2j minus r. So, here you have to find out the number of joints and number of external reaction components. So, the number of joints equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The number of joints are equal to j is equal to 6. Similarly, find out the number of external reaction components. So, at hinge support there are two reaction components and at roller support there is one reaction component. So, the total number of reaction components are equal to R is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then after knowing the number of joints, 
and number of independent external reaction components then you can find out the degree of kinematic indeterminacy so the degree of kinematic indeterminacy is equal to 2 into 6 minus 3 that is equal to 9 so here 9 displacement takes place in this problem here the direction of the 9 independent displacement components that is delta 1 to delta 9 are indicated in the figure at a joint B there there are two displacement express delta 1 delta 2 at a joint C there are two displacement express delta 3 delta 4 and at a joint D there is only one displacement express delta 5 that is in horizontal direction and uh, there is no vertical displacement takes place due to the vertical reaction at D and at E there are two displacement takes place delta 6 delta 7 and at F there are two displacement takes place delta 8 and delta 9 so the total 9 displacement takes place in this problem and at A there is no displacement because uh, here there are vertical reaction and horizontal reaction so these two reaction constant against the vertical displacement and horizontal displacement these are the direction of the independent displacement components delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 delta 4 delta 5 delta 6 delta 7 and delta 8 delta 9 here there is no vertical displacement and here there is no vertical and horizontal displacement due to hinge support Then coming to the third problem, determine the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of the pin jointed plane frame. So this is the pin jointed plane frame. Here this support is hinge support and this support is roller support. So here you have to find out the degree of kinematic indeterminacy. So the degree of kinematic indeterminacy can be determined by using this expression dk is equal to 2j minus r. So here you have to find out the number of joints and number of independent external reaction components. So the number of joints are equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The number of joints are equal to 8 and find out the number of independent external reaction components. So at hinge support there are two external reaction components and at roller support there is one uh, vertical reaction component. So the total number of reaction components are equal to r is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 then after knowing the j and r value so you can find out what is the degree of kinematic indeterminacy so dk is equal to 2j minus r that is equal to 2 into 8 minus 3 8 into 2 16 minus 3 that is equal to 13 so the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of this problem is equal to 13 then you can give the 13 independent displacement components that is delta 1 to delta 13 so here in this problem there are two independent displacement components along x direction and along y direction that is in horizontal direction and in vertical direction two independent displacement component here and here two dis independent displacement components in horizontal and vertical and here there are two independent displacement components horizontal and vertical here and here there are two independent displacement components horizontal and vertical the total eight independent displacement takes place here and uh, here there is only one independent displacement component that is in horizontal direction or in x direction there is no vertical displacement takes place in the vertical direction due to the vertical reaction this is the constant against the vertical displacement and here there are two independent displacement components and here there are two independent displacement components and at hinge support there is no displacement this is vertical reaction and horizontal reaction so both reaction constant against the vertical and horizontal displacement so here there is no displacement takes place total number of displacement is equal to 2 4 6 8 1 9 11 and 13 so total 13 independent displacement components takes place in this problem so here delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 delta 4 delta 5 delta 6 delta 7 delta 8 delta 9 
delta 10, delta 11, delta 12, delta 13. These are the 13 independent displacement components test plus in this problem. So the degree of kinematic indeterminacy is equal to 30. Then coming to the fourth problem, determine the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of the pin jointed plane frame. So this is the pin jointed plane frame and here this support is hinge support, this support is roller support and this support is roller support. And these are the members you know and these are the joints. Here you have to find out the degree of kinematic indeterminacy. So the degree of kinematic indeterminacy can be find out by using this expression dk is equal to 2j minus r. So where j is the number of joints and r is the number of independent external reaction components. So here you have to find out the number of joints that is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Number of joints are equal to 8 and number of independent external reaction components that is equal to because at the hinge support there are two external reaction component at roller support there is only one vertical reaction component and at this roller support there is one vertical reaction component. So the total number of reaction components are equal to 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 4. So j is equal to 8 and r is equal to 4. Then you can find out what is the degree of kinematic indeterminacy. So that you can find out by putting this value j and r in this expression then you can get that dk value. So dk is equal to 2 into 8 minus 4. So that is equal to 12. 8 into 2 16 minus 4 is equal to 12. So here the degree of kinematic indeterminacy of this problem is equal to 12. So here the 12 independent displacement takes place. So here there are two independent displacement component. Here there are two independent displacement components. Here there are two independent displacement components. Here only one independent displacement component takes place in the horizontal direction. There is no displacement in the vertical direction due to the vertical direction which is constant against the vertical displacement. Then here there are two independent displacement components and here there are two independent displacement components and uh, at this roller support there is only one Horizontal displacement takes place, there is no vertical displacement because the vertical reaction is constant against the vertical displacement. And at the hinge support, so there is no displacement takes place due to the vertical reaction and the horizontal reaction. So these two reactions is constant against the vertical displacement and the horizontal displacement. So the number of independent displacement components are equal to here 2, 4, 6, here 1, 7, here 2, 9, here 2, 11, and here 1, 12. So the total number of independent displacement components are equal to 12. Uh, this is delta 1, delta 2, delta 3, delta 4, delta 5, delta 6, delta 7, delta 8, delta 9, delta 10, delta 11, and delta 12. So these are the 12 independent displacement components takes place in this problem. Now all are clear what is kinematically indeterminate structure and uh, what is kinematic indeterminacy and how to determine the kinematic indeterminacy of a pin jointed plane frame.